why you are not losing weight if you are in a calorie deficit. So I know you might be struggling, you might be in a calorie deficit, but you're not seeing results. So we're gonna go through five reasons why this might be happening. So first of all, you need to know that if you're not losing weight, you are not in a calorie deficit. I know that's not helpful, I know that's frustrating, I know that you hate that answer, but it's the truth. There's nothing we can do about it. So the principle of fat loss says that energy in must be equal to energy out. So if you're not losing weight, it means that you are just not in a calorie deficit. We cannot trick the energy. There's nothing we can do about it. It's physics, it's science, it is what it is. So I hope that with these five tips, um, you'll get more insight about how you can actually start seeing results with your fat loss journey, all right? So let's get into it. Number one, and the one we're gonna discuss today is your tracking is inaccurate. There's um, a few reasons why, but first you should know that tracking is a skill. Like everything in life, you need practice to learn how to actually track and to be proficient in that skill, okay? Um, you won't probably be great at tracking right off the bat, so you do need a little bit of practice to get better at it. So the first reason is because the entry that you are using on my fitness pal or whatever tracker you are using, it's incorrect. So the problem with my fitness pal is that anyone can input the information for any food, and then if that's wrong, and then you go and use that entry, you are not tracking properly. So you must be under or over estimating your calories and your macros because you're just using the wrong entry on my fitness pal. Make sure that you're using something like the new tab if you're Aussie, um, that it's like the verified database of calories and macronutrients in food. And you can also find the same in United States, Canada, UK, etc. Um, so make sure that it's the actual verified information for that food. Um, also, if your food has a barcode, whenever you scan the barcode, make sure to compare them and that they do match. Many, many times the trackers get this wrong and then you're, you're just um, tracking something different from what you're eating. Another reason could be because you are measuring raw and then inputting cooked or the other way around. So some foods lose weight when they're cooked like chicken, so they lose water, therefore they lose weight. Um, and then there's food that absorb water when they're cooked like pasta or rice. Um, and therefore they weigh more. So you have to make sure that if you're measuring raw, you're inputting into your tracking app the raw entry. It doesn't really matter and we're not gonna talk about it if you measure raw or cooked. Um, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter as long as you're consistent with the same form of tracking, but just make sure that you are using the same entry as the one you're measuring. And then lastly, another big, big mistake why your tracking is inaccurate is because you're not weighing your food and therefore you have no idea how much to input into your tracking app and you're usually using um, measuring cups or just eyeballing everything. Um, you might also be skipping some condiments, some sauces, um, the cooking oil that you're using. So all those little things add up um, and you need to make sure that you're weighing your food if you want to be really accurate about your tracking. So these are a few reasons why your tracking might be inaccurate, which is one of the reasons why you're not losing weight in a deficit.